How to Lower Your Blood Glucose 10 Ways to Lower Blood Glucose Lowering your blood glucose levels is important for managing conditions like diabetes and promoting overall health. Welcome to my channel. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So, let's start. Number 1. Healthy Eating Adopt a balanced diet that includes plenty of whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Limit your intake of processed foods, sugary beverages, and high-carb foods. Adopting a healthy eating plan is crucial for managing blood glucose levels and promoting overall well-being. Here's a more detailed breakdown of how to approach healthy eating to help lower blood glucose. Emphasize whole foods. Fruits and vegetables. Aim to fill half your plate with non-starchy vegetables like leafy greens, broccoli, and bell peppers. Choose whole fruits in moderation, as they contain natural sugars. Whole grains. Opt for whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat, and oats. These are higher in fiber and nutrients than refined grains. Lean proteins. Include lean protein sources such as skinless poultry, lean cuts of beef or pork, fish, tofu, and legumes like beans and lentils. Healthy fats. Incorporate sources of healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil in moderation. Carbohydrate management. Carb awareness. Keep track of your carbohydrate intake and aim for a consistent carb intake per meal. This can help with blood sugar control. Fiber. Choose high-fiber carbohydrates like whole grains, legumes, and vegetables. Fiber can slow the absorption of sugar, preventing rapid blood sugar spikes. Limit simple sugars. Minimize consumption of foods and drinks high in simple sugars, such as candies, sugary beverages, and desserts. Portion control. Pay attention to portion sizes to avoid overeating, which can lead to blood sugar spikes. Measuring or using visual cues can be helpful. Meal timing. Aim for regular meal times. Spacing meals evenly throughout the day can help maintain stable blood sugar levels. Snacking. Choose healthy snacks if needed, such as raw vegetables, a handful of nuts, or Greek yogurt. Avoid high sugar and processed snacks. Limit processed foods. Minimize your intake of highly processed foods, which often contain hidden sugars and unhealthy fats. Hydration. Stay well hydrated with water, herbal teas, or unsweetened beverages. Avoid sugary drinks like soda and excessive fruit juices. Meal planning. Plan your meals in advance to ensure they are balanced and adhere to your dietary requirements. This can also help with portion control. Read food labels. Learn to read and understand food labels to identify hidden sugars and make informed choices. Consult a dietitian. Consider working with a registered dietitian who can provide personalized guidance and meal plans tailored to your specific needs and preferences. Number 2. Portion Control Pay attention to portion sizes to avoid overeating. Eating smaller, balanced meals throughout the day can help stabilize blood sugar levels. Portion control is a crucial aspect of managing blood glucose levels. Properly managing your portion sizes can prevent overeating and help stabilize your blood sugar. Here are some tips on how to implement portion control effectively. Use measuring tools. Invest in measuring cups and a kitchen scale to accurately portion your food. This is especially helpful when you're learning what appropriate portions look like. Learn visual cues. Over time, you can develop an eye for estimating portion sizes without measuring tools. For example, a serving of lean protein is roughly the size of your palm. A serving of carbohydrates like rice or pasta is about the size of your clenched fist, and a serving of fats, like nuts or avocado, is roughly the size of your thumb. Choose smaller plates. Using smaller plates can create the illusion of a full plate while reducing portion sizes. Research suggests that people tend to eat less when they use smaller plates. Mindful eating. Pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues. Eat slowly and savor each bite. This can help you recognize when you're satisfied and prevent overeating. Pre-portion snacks. Instead of eating directly from a large bag of snacks, portion them into smaller containers or baggies. This prevents mindless snacking and helps control portions. Divide restaurant portions. Restaurant servings are often larger than necessary. Consider splitting a dish with a dining companion 
or immediately request a takeout container and set aside half of your meal before you start eating. Plan balanced meals. Aim for balanced meals that include a source of lean protein, whole grains, and plenty of vegetables. This balance can help regulate blood sugar levels, eat smaller, more frequent meals. Some people find it helpful to eat smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day. This can prevent large spikes and drops in blood sugar levels. Track your intake. Keeping a food diary or using a nutrition app can help you become more aware of your portion sizes and overall food intake. Listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body reacts to different portion sizes and adjust accordingly. If you notice blood sugar spikes or crashes, consider altering your portions or meal timing. Number 3. Carbohydrate Management Monitor your carbohydrate intake and choose complex carbohydrates like whole grains over simple sugars. Counting carbs can help you maintain better control over your blood sugar levels. Carbohydrate Awareness Be aware of the carbohydrate content in the foods you eat. Carbohydrates have the most direct impact on blood sugar levels. Count Carbohydrates Counting carbohydrates can help you keep track of your intake and make more informed dietary choices. Many packaged foods have nutrition labels that list the total carbohydrates per serving. Choose complex carbohydrates. Opt for complex carbohydrates such as whole grains, legumes, and starchy vegetables. These carbohydrates contain more fiber, which slows down the digestion and absorption of sugars, leading to more stable blood sugar levels. Number 4. Fiber Include high-fiber foods in your diet, such as beans, legumes, whole grains, and vegetables. Fiber can help regulate blood sugar and improve digestion. Number 5. Regular Exercise Engage in regular physical activity. Both aerobic exercise and strength training can help improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood glucose levels. Number 6. Weight Management Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight can significantly improve blood glucose control. Even modest weight loss can have a positive impact. Number 7. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water to help flush excess glucose from your bloodstream and stay well hydrated. Number 8. Stress management. High stress levels can raise blood sugar. Practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga to reduce stress. Number 9. Medication or Insulin If you have diabetes, take your prescribed medications or insulin as directed by your healthcare provider. Adjust the dosage if needed, under medical supervision. Number 10. Regular Monitoring Regularly monitor your blood glucose levels using a glucometer as recommended by your healthcare provider. This will help you make adjustments to your diet and medication as needed. Remember, it's essential to work with your healthcare team including a doctor or registered dietitian, to develop a personalized plan to lower your blood glucose levels. They can provide guidance, monitor your progress, and make any necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. Additionally, always consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or exercise routine, especially if you have diabetes or other medical conditions. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.